Now, the Foreign Office says it'll lodge official protests with the Spanish about new delays for travellers looking to go in and out of Gibraltar today. As tensions between the two governments remained high, passengers faced four-hour queues to cross into the territory. Downing Street is considering a possible legal challenge to the border controls, while a third British warship set sail for the region this morning. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilson, joins me from Gibraltar now. Lindsay, what's the latest? Well, Cathy, I should say that that warship is not coming here in anger. These are supposed to be uh, scheduled naval manoeuvres that are happening in the area. I don't think uh, Britain is about to declare war on Spain yet. But here in Gibraltar, you can see the rock behind me, the border around uh, the corner. People are getting pretty angry. This, used, this is a relic of empire. It used to be very important militarily. It's not anymore. It's really just a, a tax haven, the kind of place that David Cameron said he was going to clamp down on. But maybe the reason he's defending it is because it is so successful. They had 7.8% growth last year. They're doing really well. And so the people here in Gibraltar, they don't want anyone, least of all the Spanish, interfering with that. Less than three square miles, only 30,000 inhabitants and resolutely British. Across the border, the queue of cars stretches on. Extra Spanish checks, meaning today's wait was two, three, even four hours. Gibraltar doesn't feel like a place that's on the brink of war, but this is the worst spat that there's been in many years. And there's no mechanism, no standing committee to defuse the crisis. Instead, the governments in Madrid and London can up the ante and make political capital back home, which is exactly what they're doing. The Spanish government is threatening to charge 50 euros per crossing. By afternoon, the cars are full of tourists, but in the mornings, some 8,000 Spanish workers cross. Unemployment is 35% on the other side. As long as they're not charged to come in, they'll put up with whatever they have to put up with to, to come in for the simple reason that they, they have a, a secure job in, in, in Gibraltar. The trouble started after the Gibraltar government cast 70 concrete blocks into the surrounding water to form a reef to protect sea life from Spanish fishing nets. No public sympathy for Spanish fishermen here. Well, they said that the, we've, we've thrown blocks in the water and, and it's all been done in British territorial waters. And you did throw blocks in the water? Yes, we did 70. But do, do they mention 120? They've done 420 kilometers square of blocks in Spain. That's their water? That's their water and this is our waters. No, it's not. They say it's their water. That's what they say. That's what they say. But that's not correct. Soto Voce, a couple of people said maybe putting the blocks in the water was a bit of a provocation. But Britishness is a badge of honour. We are British from Gibraltar, don't forget. Scientifically speaking, one on one is not two. One on one is three. You get Spain and Britain joined together, and when it comes out from that, it's a third person. We are not English, we are not Spanish, because I've told you, we are bilingual and multicultural. And that's what makes us different from the English and the Spanish. We think different. I'm talking to you in English now, but the Gibraltarian will speak half English, half Spanish. You understand? Habla español, pues. Habla español igual que inglés. Gibraltar is one of the most unique places in the world. We live here peacefully. Hindus, Jewish, Muslims, Gibraltarians, anywhere else in the world, if this was happening, there'd be bombs at the frontier. We're just a small, peaceful nation. A slumbering conflict reawakened. A summer scrap in the Mediterranean sun. But it's not over. Today, HMS Westminster set off for Gibraltar from Portsmouth. She'll join a small armada for routine naval exercises here next week, warming the cockles of Gibraltarians' true blue British hearts and angering the Spanish even more. Well, Lindsay, there's a lot of sabre-rattling here, isn't there? I mean, how can this crisis be diffused over the next few days and weeks? Well, it can be diffused, and crises in the past have been diffused. But what they used to have was a, a sort of a committee and a hotline so they could sort this kind of stuff out. But the current Spanish government has really made a lot of political noise about Gibraltar. And at the moment, it's embroiled in a corruption scandal about uh, party payments, which involves uh, the prime minister. So many people here think that that's why they're flamming it up. 
why is David Cameron acting as he is? Well, this could be a bit of a UKIP issue as well. So I think it can be diffused when the two governments want to diffuse it. And they can do that by having discussions, by coming to some kind of deal about the blocks in the water, and then withdrawing all those checks on the border. It's perfectly possible if they want to do it. That's a big question. Thanks, Lindsay. Chris. Well, I've been speaking to Ignacio Ibanez, Director General for Foreign Affairs at Spain's Foreign Ministry, who's in Madrid, and I asked him why, once again, there are queues at the border taking hours and hours. Gibraltar is not part of the of EU customs uh, area, also it's not a, a Schengen area, so the obligation of the Spanish authority is to control the border. We have been uh, noticing in the last uh, months and, and weeks a uh, uh, big increase on, on smuggling, so we need to control this uh, uh, place and we are doing so. What are people smuggling? Well, they, they mainly tobacco, but it seems that uh, they are uh, starting to introduce other things. But the main product is tobacco. This has always gone on. Uh, why, why are the queues all of a sudden being used now? I mean, it, it, it looks as though they are being used as a political tool. No, they are not. Uh, and and the, the figures that we have uh, shows that there is a, a big increase, so things are not as they were. They are worse as they were, and this is the reason why we, the, the authorities, uh, the police and, and the customs uh, authorities have decided to increase the controls. Why have relations with Britain got so bad? Well, uh, the relations with uh, Britain, the, there are different parts of the relation. Uh, some parts of our relation are very good, and we are uh, good allies. We, we work together in the EU, we work together in the NATO. But it's true that what is regarding uh, Gibraltar, things are uh, going uh, in a very bad way, uh, mainly, we think, because of the attitude of the Gibraltarian authorities. But things are getting pretty bad, aren't they? Britain is threatening legal action. Are you concerned about that? Not at all, because well, what, as I said, I mean, if, if it's, uh, you're speaking about, about the, the controls in, in, in the border, we are, we are confident and we, we know that we are doing what we have to do. It's not only that uh, we would like to do that, but we, have, we are obliged to control It just the seems area. like a remarkable coincidence that these queues at the border are taking place at the same time as these disputes over fisheries and smuggling. That's why well, nobody really things. believes it. There, there, are other things, there are other things that are also happening at the same time. Uh, we have also made some uh, complaining on, on the, uh, the process of, of uh, contamination by, by in, in the sea. So are there many things which are happening at the same time? What a lot of people say is that there's a little hi hypocrisy going on uh, with Spain when it comes to Gibraltar, because while you complain about Britain's uh, relationship with, with Gibraltar, you maintain your own uh, pockets of North Africa, of Morocco. Uh, in the Spanish cities of Ceuta and Melilla. Are you, are you, are well, you similarly prepared to negotiate over their future if you want Britain to well, negotiate is, is, over Gibraltar? Is, the situation is not the same and uh, the way the it's UN very has similar. treated the... No, they are not. I mean, uh, this is uh, it's not uh, you or me who are going to decide what is, uh, dif what is the same or different, but it's the UN uh, uh, communication that, that really makes the difference. And in the case of Gibraltar, you have several resolutions of the United Nations saying that uh, uh, Gibraltar is a colony, something which they don't say about uh, Ceuta and Melilla. But they are, in effect, aren't they? In reality, whatever the United Nations says, the reality is that Spain has got these little colonial pockets in Morocco that are Spanish cities in Africa. It's very well, similar for, for in that the people, the people in those cities don't want to be part of Morocco any more than the people of Gibraltar want to be part of Spain. Well, but, but the, 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 the difference, uh, when, why the UN is treating uh, the, the two situations in a different way makes a very clear understanding that the origin of the situation is completely different. In the case of uh, Gibraltar, it is uh, clear that it was a territory which, was, uh, which belonged to Spain. Spain gave this territory in a treaty, and we accept that. And after, the, the population which, uh, who established in, in the area are not uh, the, the, the true Gibraltarians. I mean, the true Gibraltarians are on the other side of, of, the, of the fence. They are in our, in our side. These are the true Gibraltarians who, in fact, were sent away. And this is the reason why the UN is treating in a different way. So you are confident Gibraltar will be returned to Spain? Of course I am. When? In well, your lifetime? I don't, if, uh, I, I, don't, I, I don't have uh, <laughs> I mean, the, the, the capability to, to, to assert the future. In your I, lifetime? I do not know. What I'm confident, what I'm confident is we ha the reason is on our side, so we are confident at the end we will, we will have uh, Gibraltar as part of Spain. Yes, we